last week we discussed early maladaptive schemas, or EMS. Early maladaptive schemas are deeply ingrained emotional and cognitive patterns established from childhood that can significantly influence adult behavior and relationships. These schemas are identified in schema therapy, a psychological approach developed by Dr. Jeffrey Young to help individuals understand and change these long-lasting patterns. If you didn't check out that episode, go back and listen to it now. For the rest of you, as promised, today I'm going to talk about some of the approaches one can take to manage and heal their EMSs. Welcome back to Savvy Psychologist. I'm your host, Dr. Monica Johnson. Every week on this show, I'll help you face life challenges with evidence-based approaches, a sympathetic ear, and zero judgment. I want to start by giving some general strategies that work with any of the 18 EMSs before giving one or two examples of specific strategies for each. My first general strategy is cognitive behavioral therapy, otherwise known as CBT, or schema therapy, which is actually a specific type of CBT developed by Jeffrey Young with the sole purpose of addressing these schemas. We have expertise in CBT and schema therapy at my practice, Kind Mind Psychology. And here are some of the general ways these treatments are helpful. Identify and address maladaptive schemas. Work with a therapist to identify early maladaptive schemas and develop strategies to challenge and modify these schemas. Within schema therapy, we have assessments that identify which early maladaptive schemas are present in the individual, and then a treatment plan is developed to address each issue. Challenge negative thoughts. Learn to identify and challenge negative thoughts and beliefs that go along with each of these schemas. It's very important to note that each of these schemas have associated negative beliefs, thoughts, emotions, and behaviors that go hand in hand with each of them. Reframe thinking. Practice reframing thoughts to more balanced and positive interpretations of social interactions and relationships. Reframing thinking over time allows you to modify your perspective and reactions to both internal and external stimuli. Schema work is long-term typically, and even if you don't have a therapist for the entire time you're on this journey, it can definitely be helpful to engage with a therapist for a period of time to either get you started or help you work through a few sticking points. Not everything can be done with self-help only. Across all domains, it's important for treatment to be tailored to the individual's specific schemas, life circumstances, and needs. Techniques such as journaling, mindfulness, and exposure to feared situations in a controlled manner can also be beneficial across the different schema domains. Psychoeducation about schemas and their impact is also a crucial part of therapy helping individuals understand the origins of their schemas and how they influence current functioning. Collaboration between the therapist and the individual is key to identifying the most effective strategies for addressing maladaptive schemas. Let's delve deeper into specific treatment or coping strategies for each domain of early maladaptive schemas including examples to illustrate how these strategies can be applied. First up is disconnection and rejection. Strategy, cognitive restructuring. Example, a person with a defectiveness or shame schema might identify and challenge their automatic belief that, quote unquote, I am unlovable by listing evidence of their relationships where they were loved and valued. Strategy, emotion regulation techniques. Example, 
Someone with the abandonment instability schema might use deep breathing and mindfulness to calm themselves when feeling anxious about their partner's loyalty. The next domain is impaired autonomy and performance. Strategy. Graduated task assignment. Example. An individual with a dependence and competence schema could start taking small independent decisions like choosing a restaurant for dinner and gradually work up to more significant decisions. Strategy. Reality testing. Example. A person who feels vulnerable, so this would be the vulnerability to harm or illness schema, might keep a journal of times they feared the worst, what actually happened, and how they coped to challenge their overestimations of danger. The third domain is impaired limits. The first strategy we'll discuss is boundary setting. Example. Someone with the entitlement grandiosity schema works with a therapist to recognize and respect others' needs and boundaries, starting with acknowledging one person's perspective each day. Strategy. Self-discipline strategies. Example. An individual struggling with insufficient self-control or self-discipline might use time management techniques like setting specific times for work and play to improve self-regulation. The fourth domain is other directedness. Strategy, balanced giving and receiving. Example, a person with a self-sacrifice schema might schedule regular self-care activities ensuring they allocate time for their own needs as well as others. Strategy, self-reflection. Example, someone with the approval-seeking or recognition-seeking schema could reflect daily on decisions made based on their own values versus those made to please others, aiming to increase the former. The fifth domain is overvigilance and inhibition. Strategy, perfectionism challenge. Example, an individual with the unrelenting standards or hypercriticalness schema might deliberately set lower standards for a task and reflect on the outcome, learning to accept quote unquote good enough results. Strategy, pleasure and play. Example, a person with the emotional inhibition schema engages in non-goal-oriented activities, like painting or dancing, to express emotions freely and reduce self-control in a healthy way. Across these examples, the key is gradual exposure and practice in real-life situations, reflection on experiences, and the consistent application of new skills. These strategies not only help in coping with maladaptive schemas, but also in fundamentally restructuring the way individuals perceive and interact with the world around them. Therapy often involves homework assignments and exercises that encourage individuals to apply these strategies outside of sessions, facilitating lasting change. Which strategy are you going to try? You can contact me via Instagram at KindMindPsych or via my email at psychologist at quickanddirtytips.com. The Savvy Psychologist is a Quick and Dirty Tips podcast. It's audio engineered by Steve Rickyberg, with script editing by Brandon Getches. Our podcast and advertising operations specialist is Morgan Christensen. Our digital operations specialist is Holly Hutchings. And our marketing and publicity associate is Davina Tomlin. Follow Savvy Psychologist on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you listen to podcasts. That's all for this episode of Savvy Psychologist. Thanks for listening, and I'll see you next week.